Welcome everyone, I'm Mr. Vaughn, and this is a lesson on coordinate proofs. Coordinate proofs are simply using figures in the coordinate plane to help us prove geometric concepts. Now we have to draw these ourselves, so there's certain guidelines for setting these drawings up. First of all, we want to use the origin as a vertex or a midpoint of one of our sides, and we've got a vertex in each of these examples. Next, we want to put at least one side on an axis, and I've got one side on the x-axis in both cases. Third, we want to draw the figure in the first quadrant if possible, and I've got that going on. And finally, we want to use coordinates that make our computation simple. Try to keep fractions or decimals out of your coordinates, okay? All right. So. We've got two examples here. For the isosceles triangle, we set up our base as we've got one vertex at the origin, the other vertex we called 2a, 0. Because we know that this vertex is halfway in between those two, that means the x-coordinate could just be a up here. Then the y-coordinate we just called b. For this isosceles trapezoid, the base was from the vertex to point c, 0. We named this point up here AB, and then we got the X coordinate here by taking C and subtracting off this distance A, which would be the same as that distance right there. And of course, the Y coordinates are going to be the same for both points here. All right, let's take a look at how we would uh, use all this in an actual proof. We want to prove that the medians to the legs of an isosceles triangle are congruent. We've got all our points filled in in our drawing, with the exception of this point right here. So for E, for the x-coordinate, we need to take the x-coordinate for C, that's 2A, and subtract off the x-coordinate for D, that's going to be minus B. Then, for my y-coordinate, well, that's going to be the same as that one, so it's C. All right, now that we have all our coordinates, to prove these are congruent, to prove AE is congruent to CD, we have to basically plug into the distance formula. The distance formula will tell us the length of each segment. So what I'd like you to do is plug in the coordinates for X2, X1, Y2, and Y1 in each case, and then click Continue. Okay, for AE, the X coordinate here, 2A minus B, and then minus 0, so we can just leave that as it is, and we're going to have that squared, minus, excuse me, plus C minus 0 squared, or just C squared. The, and let's leave that as it is for now. For the length of CD, well, we take the x coordinate 2a minus b and we square that and then we add 0 minus c so that'd be negative c squared now negative c squared that's going to be the same as positive c squared isn't it yeah because a negative number or a positive number when you square it is going to become a positive number so we can show that both of those right there are the same. So CD has the same length as AE, and just show that they are congruent. CD congruent to AE. And that will wrap this one up, <laughs> and that's all there is to it. Nice job. Good luck with the rest of your homework. You can get more geometry help by signing up for Nutshell Math.